when they start they start start doing the They be fucking with that? Maybe I, that's maybe that's what I need to do. You know, I talked about it last video how I hate TikTok. Maybe maybe that's what I need to start doing. I'm gonna start doing TikTok dances. Fuck it. All right, welcome back to the channel that you all know and love. And if you don't know, you need to get to know it so you can love it. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and address something real quick. Um, usually nine times out of 10, I'll just ignore it. But this time I decided I wanted to address it because more than one person has been really butt hurt and in their feelings because you know, they're keyboard warriors. I had a nigga send three paragraphs about the Mr. Beast thing and what I said. I'm gonna break it to you like this. I don't even remember what I said in that video, nor do I give a fuck what I said in that video. So why are you spilling your heart out to me? Like we've been in a two year relationship. I don't give a damn. I, I, <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Now I deleted the comment from the video because I didn't want to open up my phone and go to my comments. And that's the first bullshit I see every time I open it up. I got tired of looking at that. Yeah, people been real butthurt about what I said in that Mr. V's video. Everybody has their opinions. So I don't know why. I don't know why a, a channel with 800 subscribers had you typing out your heart, had you spilling, spilling your feelings out. Niggas were butthurt about the title. Nigga, how are you butthurt about the title? How are you butthurt about the title? Half the time when I'm editing and posting these videos, I'm fried. I don't, I don't care. And I type it fast as shit because I'm posting it right before my my own personal deadline to get the videos out at 6, 6.30 or 5.30 whenever I feel like getting the video out. I had a fucked up title, still pulled a thousand something views. And then another person said, uh, oh, God damn it, what did they say? Um, oh, I only did this for clout. Yeah. I thought I thought that I thought the video was interesting. I'm not parasocial like y'all niggas. I don't care about Mr. Beast. I reacted to it because I knew it was popping. I knew it was gonna get a couple views. So that's what I did. And then once I uploaded that final Mr. Beast video, I took Mr. Beast and threw him away out of my brain because I'm not parasocial and I don't give a fuck about that rich ass dude. He's not gonna fail. He's too big to fail. But a lot of people care and that's part of the internet. That is part of the internet, but it also been a several people showing love and those are the people I really appreciate. And I also saw a comment asking, um, how often do I post? I don't know what happened to the comment, but how often do I post? I try to post every two to three days, every now and then it'll be every, not every four, but every now and then it'll go up on the fourth day. I'm black, I'm not gonna do shit on time, no way. So, you know. Hey, it is what it is. But today we are reacting to a JBM Fargo video. I've never heard of him. I decided to react to it because it looked like a pretty good video. He's talking about white boy him. He was the guy who used to copy speed back in the day. And it's talking about how he is successful now, which he is, he's, he's very successful now. I didn't like him when he was copying speed. I, I don't like people like that who copy people bar for bar. It is what it is. He got his clout and now he's He's, he's big, he's made it. But let's go ahead and get into the video. Remember this infamous I Show Speed clone? Are you serious right now, bro? This that is shit. him now. I stole that from Speed. His name is White Boy M. His only claim to fame was literally being a carbon copy of 2021-2022 I Show Speed, using his infamous catchphrase, are you serious right now? It's only been about right. two years since he quote unquote blew up on the internet. And after this recent clip of him calling out I Show Speed for quote unquote stealing, people are wondering where did he go? For a very short amount of time, Emerson- I ain't gonna lie, this tank top, this tank top he got on suck. That's not a good fellow. That's a Hanes. You can tell this bitch a Hanes. You gotta go get you a good fellow tank, boy. You gotta get you a good fellow tank. Somebody put him on. Somebody put that young man on game. And AKA White Boy M had the internet in the palm of his hands. He did everything and I mean everything that I Show Speed did. This job strategy proved successful leading to a surge in his viewership and subscribers fueled by both interest and criticism. Many people waited for a fall off that felt like more criticism than anything. Emerson never adopted his own personality or gimmick, but he would not let that stop him. See, Emerson had a dream of being a successful content creator as early as 2019, Ooh. uploading Ooh, vlogs shit. about summer, mukbangs, and other very- He looked like this in 2019? How old is this 
He looked young as hell. First day of seventh grade? That was five years ago? Damn. How old are you in like seventh grade? You're like what? 14 is when you go into high school. So what, he's like 12? Oh, he's young as shit. I thought dude was like two years younger than me. Various content. It was after uploading a back to school vlog that he was- 2019, that was my junior series. year. With this new mindset, Emerson uploaded- Oh, and real quick, I see you, bruh. Quit calling me unk, man. He said, I thought I, I thought Unk was 34. What? what? I'm 22, bruh. He said, I thought Unk was 34. No, you didn't. I should just watch the videos. I appreciate the love, though. God damn it. Public interviews, <laughs> which was a big trend at the time. The question for today is, you got 24 hours left on Earth. What you doing? Like, one thing? No, just what you, like, what you doing in general? I'm going to try to pull all the girls that I couldn't fool. You feel me? <laughs> all right, man, we out. And even Fortnite and Omegle vid. I know he's a kid. I know he's a kid. Why are you going to try to get the girls that didn't want you? It's 24 hours left on Earth. They damn for sure don't want nothing to do with you now. They got bigger priorities than ever now. They damn sure don't want you. I wonder what his response is now. Might be the same shit. Never know. These earlier vids didn't do very well, but it seemed like Emerson started to understand how far you can get by following certain trends. However, Fortnite did latch on a bit as he became a montage editor known as Bluffin. He would try other things to get him some sort of recognition. Bluffin? In the That's Fortnite kind of a hard scene, name. Nothing not came to lie. fruition. And this is exactly when he came up with his best ideas. Uploading videos on Twitter showing more of his personality and eventually got the attention from Faye Sway, who retweeted one of his videos he's just on your timeline just know that 2021 is your year you will make it you just cannot give up i want you to set goals for yourself i want you to open your phone open your computer go to your notes and write down goals for yourself for 2021 and i want you to follow them all 2021 all you have to do is set goals for yourself and make sure you maintain those goals and follow them you will make it in 2021 i want you to look back at this video <laughs> once you make it i don't it, know why this is funny say wow he really helped me Whoever sees this, you will make it. After staying in the Fortnite community for a while. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I do not use my notes. Out of sight, out of goddamn mind. I used to write down uh, timestamps in my notes for when I stream. Every blue moon, I'll go in my notes and be like, damn, I forgot some shit. I just started using the calendar on my phone. Oh, an IRL situation involving his school made him delete all of his videos. He spoke on this in a video titled, All of My Videos Are Gone. So this damn. big hurdle made him go back to the drawing board to find a new direction for his content. That sucks. This is also around the time he discovered I Show Speed and created the persona we know today as White Boy M. Realizing the effectiveness of emulating popular content creators, White Boy M began incorporating the persona of Aisho Speed, a lot of people do this. voice, mannerisms, and facial expressions. This decision, while generating immense controversy and criticism, ultimately catapulted White Boy M into the spotlight. His peak came when he uploaded controversy Dude, and Any publicity is good publicity. I hate motherfuckers that say that. No, it's not. No, any publicity is not good publicity. Not in my opinion. Say what? me my opinion everybody got one it's like an asshole everybody got one people don't understand that though yeah i'm gonna start shooting shots <laughs> yeah nigga i'm petty i'm a petty ass nigga <laughs> you telling me the chris publicity is good for chris where is he at now is my camera leaning bro hold on got one of these bitches i got a level nigga that bitch leaning like a mug why don't y'all say something there you go Y'all level it hell now. I, I don't, I don't, why do people say that? I feel like it depends. Maybe he think, maybe like in this situation, just situations like this. I don't know. Maybe I'm taking that the wrong way. I don't goddamn know. Watch the video. Shit. Criticism ultimately catapulted White Boy M into the spotlight. His peak came when he uploaded an I Show Speed diss track called Right Now, a play on the Are You Serious Right Now catchphrase. This video went viral, sitting at over 3 million views and got the attention of many creators like Aiden Ross and even I Show Speed. But a number of creators took his trolling seriously while some laughed off white boy m is an obsessed fan costanet was one of the creators that didn't see the vision that was the problem. rightfully so i mean as he was soon, just copying I, I know i keep cutting bro off this is this is this is what a reaction video is i'm sorry as soon as the big people realized and noticed and brought it to attention that's all he needed that is all he needed kai saw it aiden saw it speed saw it that's the big three in the streaming realm that's the damn big three twitch YouTube and kick, nigga. That's the, that's the big three. Cut the video, end it. Three minutes and 12 seconds in, cut it, that's it. He made. All he had to do was just capitalize, keep making, and keep making content, and that's what he did, nigga. And I show speed. What you said right now? You said when Can't I get, get the call, you gonna have to press me for acting like your man. Yeah, like, I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. yeah. So, 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 me personally, I feel like you a brother. You feel what I'm saying? And and, okay. and, 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 and I got no problems with you. You are the. Lisa Michael says, you got no problems with me. I actually find the right now really funny. Like, all right, the right now. Thank right? you, man. It's, it's, Thank it's, you, man. It's, 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 it's funny. I feel like if you allow you to be yourself, people will love you for you. 
you know, and I'm keeping a stack with you, bro. You, 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 you got his whole, you, you got his whole demeanor, you got his whole demeanor down. Like you dead ass move like him, you talk like him, you your headphones is, is on like him. And let me just tell you something right now, bro. I'm gonna just tell you this. His right headphones now. is broken. I, I just noticed right that. Now, bro, the way you acting right now, I don't think it's gonna go far for you. I'm not gonna lie to you. And that's and that's just be me. That's just me being a real n right now, bro. Right when? Right now, bro. Okay. Nah, but like, I go lotto. Like this is really how I act, though. Like no, I'm not, not acting no type of way. No, it's not, bro. Because gonna... I've seen people expose you on TikTok. I, I I've never seen somebody expose me. I ain't gonna bro, lie. I've seen somebody expose you on how you really act. And bro, look, I don't like liars. So if you lie to me, I find it disrespectful. Like we can't be friends if you won't lie to me. You feel what I'm saying? So don't lie to I feel me. What you saying? You I feel Kyle, I don't think you wanted to be the nigga's friend in the first place. You just said you were gonna press him. Now, I mean, shit happens. You know, people have beefs and then they end up being friends. But I don't think you had intent to be this nigga friend in the first place. So if he's lying, does it really matter? When's the last? When's the, when do you think is the last time Kyle talked to this nigga? This might this might have been the last time he talked to him. What you said, you know, you know hit that what space you do, bro. Hard and I respect that you a good ass actor. Like right yeah, now, please. right now it's probably lit. Right now, you probably like it. Right now, like everybody going crazy right now. And all that, but right now, bro, in the long term, you want this right now. Or if you want it long, it long. If you want to be honest, be like, oh, I'm only doing this for fun right now. I don't care about it right now. Kaisenet wouldn't be the only creator to share that same sentiment, as Patrick CC uploaded a video of his own explaining that it's important Damn, to and build Patrick your brand based on you and not someone else. Because 2.7 mil. Here's here's my thought. Here's my thought. If they never would have brought it to the forefront of how much he's copying speed, then his fame would have been cut short. But I think maybe because of the fact that they sat here and they gave so much attention to it, these huge content creators brought so much attention to it and then he slowly started to change out of the speed thing i think that kept him in the somewhat of the limelight and allow him to actually make something out of it if they would have just ignored it he probably would have fell off trends don't last forever and he also maybe i don't know with this wave of hate that white boy m received a lot of love and support will soon follow suit and everyone tuning in push him to the hundred thousand subscriber mark i like For that another tech moment color. in time the internet hate i got one similar what is good with your though. boys in the chat man 100 thousand subs i want a plaque a so plaque. bad bro i want a plaque i gotta the get plaque me a plaque is worth nothing this plaque is actually worth a lot more than you think, buddy. Actually, because you can't get this unless you're a YouTuber with 100,000 subs. So that's like a lot of money right there off the bat. White boy M, man. For passing 100,000 subscribers, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's pretty crazy, dude. Like, it's, it's hate really how crazy how far I like came, man, you know? Like, look at my 100K plaque. Everybody just take... This nigga has speed in the thing. This nigga is an asshole. <laughs> This man has the ugliest possible picture of speed as a kid in the damn reflection of the plaque. This nigga's an ass. This nigga's an ass. Take a look at my 100k plaque. Look at it, chat. Just look at my 100k plaque, man. He would take advantage of all the attention, switching to his normal mannerisms and persona. You know, if a girl says she don't have a type, I'm just automatically assuming like, okay, she has a type and maybe I just don't fit her description of a type because obviously she knows I'm white by now, you know. So maybe she don't like white boys, but she just wanted to say she don't have a type, but like whole time, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all see the new camera though? Like y'all can see my whole Mike room, got so bro. Damn loud. Nowadays, White Boy M has millions of loyal supporters on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram who tune in for his dancing videos and vlogs. People have been saying that his vlog. Do people enjoy this? I guess so because it goddamn works. When they start they, they start start doing the. Maybe you fucking with that? Maybe I, that's maybe that's what I need to do. You know, I talked about it last video how I hate TikTok. Maybe, maybe that's what I need to start doing. I'm gonna start doing TikTok dances. Fuck it. Tune in for his dancing videos and vlogs. People have been saying that his vlogs and IRL content are basically the clip. Everybody song. doing, everybody doing the same damn dance on TikTok, and everybody that's doing it, goddamn winning. How? I don't get how people not tired of seeing that shit. I'm tired of seeing niggas goddamn gyrate and do these damn TikTok dances. Core corn that we've been seeing from the black I gotta community sneeze. for ages. It's working, so I can't blame him for uploading the slop. The only issue that I have is his audience is probably young and impressionable. Plus, everyone doesn't have to be sexual to get views on YouTube. When would this trend die? But other than it's that, White Boy M has been seen around YouTuber Cam Wilder's AAU program, Rod Wave Elite, where he apparently coaches them. Recently, White Boy M went back to his old character for a moment, saying that he came up with the Are You Serious? Real quick, real quick, with the Cam Wilder thing, 
in his AAU team. I have no idea. I kind of stopped watching basketball videos with like the street ball stuff and the, a and the AAU stuff. They're called Rod Wave Elite, but I have never seen Rod Wave with that team at all. I know I know nothing about it, so I've just never seen him. Maybe he's popped up. Maybe he's actually funding the team. I don't know. So can somebody fill me in on that? Please, please. Could I look it up after this video? Yeah. Am I going to remember to? Hell no. It's right now catchphrase. That y'all heard anybody else say, are you serious right now, dog? Y'all heard that before right me? Y'all heard that before me? Y'all heard that before me? Be real. Speed never said that. I don't know where that spawned into my mind at, but on everything I love, I've never heard Speed say, are you serious right now, dog? Be realistic. Yes, he did. The clips that y'all seen from Speed saying, are you serious right now, dude, is literally after me on my life. Come on, bro. I had everybody that true? saying this shit, bro. I had Weatherman saying it. I had Kai saying it. I had Duke saying it. I had Speed saying it. I had Jideon saying it. I had, who else I had saying it? I had Aiden saying it. On oh, God, stop, chat. That's my little shit. The biggest question is, did White Boy M get the I last don't know how laugh? True that is. I think he did. I feel like it's always been his plan to gain as much he recognition did. as he could, no matter what it took. And he was always successful in doing that, even in a Fortnite community. One thing I will say, he might have got the last laugh, but God damn it, his haircuts suck. His haircuts are sorry as hell. He might as well just shave it off and just get a lineup. He's black. You know, he's not black, but you know, his main demographic is black people. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just talking, really. It, them, them haircuts suck. You see this in the back? It look like he got a duck tail in the back. The hell is this like he got a shag back here he always successful in doing that even in the fortnite community the only thing is that what other creators told him was right and that's exactly why he needed to change his brand up a bit even though white boy m will be written in the chapter of internet history as i show speed's biggest copycat i'm sure he's content with it as he branched off to build his own persona let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below it's fargo and i'm out man Fire video, fire video. I'm gonna like that, I'm gonna get that like. Hey, shout out JBM Fargo, shout out JBM Fargo. First time reacting to it, that was good. I like that short, straight to the point, straight jabs and punches, straight jabs and punches. What do y'all, what do y'all think though, huh? What do y'all think? I think he did get the last laugh. He copied speed, he got the clout and he capitalized off of it. And then once he got enough enough clout to maintain it, he then transitioned to into being more of himself. Some people started to like that and it stuck. And now he's now he's big. I'm gonna look him up real quick. He's almost at 400k. He does he does make your typical uh, black content. I can't get mad at it. It's working. It's working. Hey, but shout out, bro, bro. He's making it. You can't get mad at it. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Be sure to check out the other videos as well. We are almost at 900. We are. I think 20 something subs away, 26 at the time of me recording this video, 26 subs away from 900. Be sure to subscribe, be sure, like I said, be sure to go tell your mama, go take it to the workplace, take it to the workplace like she's trying to sell uh, cookie dough so we can grow, bro. I'm trying to hit to a thousand. Everybody makes content <clears throat> the way they want to make it. At the end of the day, I do this because I know it makes a difference in somebody's day, whether it's one person or it's a hundred people. But yeah, man, I'm out.